How would you like lucky number seven? Hmm. Kind of creepy. Sure. Guess we all signed up for war today. Yo, all right, everybody, we are here today checking out the latest banger that's rolled across my emails. This time we got Cat Museum. And this one, when I saw it, instantly hooked me. I love the look of it. Reminded me a lot of uh, Creep Tale 1 and 2, which we played on the channel not too long ago. The sort of game like uh, that Sally face, that little misfortune. You know, you're playing the role as a child, but um, some very gruesome things are about to go down. So let's see, we have a child apparently finding some sort of uh, Eldritch cat box more than likely. That can't be good. Ooh. I'd be running pretty far if I saw that. Like a pulsating black mass of... That reminds me of a little, like, Japanese horror with the hair. Always with the hair. And we got pulled into the Eldritch Cat Box. What? <sighs> so that face consisted of two hands with an eyeball, right? I'm not the only one to saw that. What? What is this place? How did I get here? I, I was just inside that closet. This one here? Where are you though? This piece of wood has cracks all over it. Looks like it's been here for a long time. I mean, I guess if you say so, I just felt like you were kneeling in front of a Eldritch cat box to me. Feathers? What's with all the blood? Probably don't want to know. The leather is moldy and cr- Cracked. <laughs> Excuse me? Alright. Well, I hope we never see that face to face. You're, you're kind of normal looking, outside of being a cyclops, I guess. Hmm. Young man, you've got nice things on you. Looks like they're all hidden in your memory. What a shame. Memory is like a mark on the skin. I can help you get it back. In exchange, you have to give me three things. Magic isn't cheap. So, uh, give you the runes that you have, um, forecasted in your little... Magic ball? Alright. Oh, okay. Drag him over. Gotcha. I feel like I'm familiar with these rooms. Is there like some sort of origin behind these rooms? Like, oh. Uh, I, what? I mean, forget the rooms at this point. My back. It itches. It's killing me. Are you sure it's the only thing that's killing you? I can't even begin it. Is this like a leg? Two legs? I think these are your arms and hands, right? Well, at least it can't reach and grab me. Yeah, you said that already. You seem very mad about it, too. Can't get to the needle of the meat. Suppose you want me to get the needle for you? And use it on your back? 
Oh, oh, there's mouths in your back. Oh no, put it back down. There's faces on your back, dude. There's many faces on your back. Oh, you want me to you want me to pop these goiter things for you? Oh. Have lunch before recording, he said. What could go wrong, he said. Uh, like a carnival tent and some sort of egg cat skin? Those brightly colored flowers. Mm. They look nutritious. I'll trade you. Oh, you want the thing? Oh! Every cat teaser has a special master. Okay, Cyclops lady, you're suddenly- <gasps> Okay, okay. That's good. Looks like you're not a passenger yet. <laughs> Don't look back unless you must. You never know what's lurking behind you. <laughs> what in the world is that strange creature? Its bread is putrid. It smells like rotten fruits. I mean, that's probably somehow even better than I thought it actually would smell. To be honest with you. I think I'll take rotten fruits at this point. The rust on it seems like a scab that's about to come off. Scratches everywhere. And a few broken claws. Collection of the Millennium. Never seen before. Super Egg. This cat statue. It looks angry. Well, maybe we should leave it alone then, huh? else to inspect? No. Well, we have the special cat tickler. If he looks angry, maybe we give him a little tickle. Or I guess you'll just put in that pot. Maybe I can put this here? It's actually very nice to see something not, not terrifying, finally. Wow, it's a glowing cat. What do you got there, buddy? Oh, a puzzle. Of course you do. <laughs> I thought you had to move them over there or this up there. Like, I, I basically, sometimes when you have, like, the easiest puzzle ahead of you, like, your mind tricks you. You're thinking it was got to be more than just that, right? But no, it really was. I just matched what you saw. She was somewhat over? No? Yes. Oh, I guess we didn't need a key after all. Now, um... I don't gotta point this out to you, Mr. Cat, but it feels like we're entering a very fleshy area. Probably a very smelly area by the looks of things, too. Um... Why did you stop? It's too dark here. I can't see the road without you. Do you want me to bring your cat to Israel?
Okay. So now he's ready to come along with us. Perfect. Oh uh, yeah, that was indeed a big giant foot. We got lungs. Got a hand pointing directly down here whenever it means anything. Take a breath, you can do this. Oh, that's cute. Because we have lungs back there. It's cute. Seems gonna probably have to plant something here. Got a watering can and everything. Okay. Well, luckily, I just saw, like, the symbol on those hands, which I wonder if it meant anything, and yes, it does. So we got blue, perps, red, yellow, green. And you know what? I think it's gonna probably go based on... Remember how they were pointing, and I said, I said it was pointing, but it was actually... You can actually contribute this as a one. So, like, one green. Perp is five. <laughs> just, just give me five dashes or four, dog. A seed. Right? Yes. Letters that have been here for a while. It's unreadable now. Oh. It's hoping to get some understanding as to what the hell's happening. Nothing to it, then, huh? Alright. A little disappointing. I hope we eventually figure out what's going on. Um, so we got the seed. Can we put it down here now? It's we're gonna probably need water at some point, but maybe we could. Get the ball rolling. Oh, okay, we could have collected that. Interesting, there was no, like, you know, icon over when I actually hovered it the first time, so... Okay, so we gotta get water for this thing now. Alright, Gatomon, where do you think we could find some water at? Oh. Why? It just keeps on pumping. There's no sign of sight. That's a good thing. You you don't necessarily want that thing to ever stop pumping. Okay. You kind of have like those flowery things in that dude's back as well, by the way. I will speak to you soon. I'm just gonna encounter about this water. It's gonna get dark over there. Alright, let's speak to you first, I guess. He's gonna laugh creepily, of course. <laughs> Well, you know how I mentioned how your brain sometimes leads you to believe? Well, it can't be that simple, can it? I actually think that there's already water in here. Well, it was a drop. Which was enough for what we needed, apparently. I gotta, I gotta stop playing myself, you know, I keep thinking there's more to these things, like, oh, you got a watering can, like, it's just so adventure game ask. you know, you get the watering can, then you gotta go find a, you know, place to fill it up, then you bring it back. Here was, like, literally right next to the puzzle. Well, we got a flower. I, I kind of have an idea who will be the recipient of this flower, finally. Maybe she'll finally speak now, too, instead of just laughing out creepily as well. So you have a couple of these here, you got apparently six. How would you like lucky number seven? Hmm. <laughs> Kinda creepy. Oh. God, you just made it worse. Sure. Guess we all signed up for war today. I was hoping for a bid note again, or like a, something from a note, but nothing there. Okay. Well then, let's give the old college try here. Yep, that's exactly what I figured was gonna happen. Can you uh, remove yourself? Thank you. Oof. Oh, you know what? It was for that area that was apparently too dark. Okay, that makes sense now. Red fireflies. Yeah, I guess I could see them. They were just like embers, but red fireflies it is. Oh, okay. So the shrunken, what looks to be children had apparently speak. Hey, hey, hey. 
Or we could run again. Did one of you in specific speak to me, or...? Oh. You are moving. You're coming out of that picture, picture Mona Lisa. You look so familiar. You're not gonna grab me, are you? Oh, Calico. It's a cat family. Oh, there's the shrunken heads. Late. Yes. You're late. You manager, you're late on the first day. Me? And you got a glowing monster with you. Too skinny, nothing but skin and bones. Too pale, what are you good for? Air is escaping from his neck while he speaks. We're short-handed. Go downstairs and help now. The specimen hall is a mess. Specimen hall is a mess. Well, let's, uh, I guess if it means anything, remember this pattern here. Green, red, yellow. Why are you still here? What about the specimen hall? All right, I'm going into specimen hall. Kitty cat? Uh, apparently a cat griffin? No, it's a cat owl. Of course. No, you never seen one before, or what? Okay. It's full of worms. Who's behind the apple? Oh, jeez, Louise. Somehow you guys... This game has, like, amazing, like, monster designs. Like, it just somehow <laughs> manages to get creepier and creepier. Is the sunflower blooming or withering? Doesn't have any fragrance. Oh, yeah, I guess this is a specimen, huh? Or down to. Oh! Oh. God, what did I tell you about the monster design in this game? What? Why? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's gonna probably be a way for us to hide or something, isn't it? No wonder we could finally run. One eyed baby? Have I seen it somewhere before? If its legs start to grow really far or long, it could be that, uh, clairvoyant lady that we spoke to. And people say that what you see before you die stays in your eyes. Hmm. Time has stopped in a glass jar. How is this doing up? Butterfly scorpion thing? Like the design kind of looks like a butterfly pattern, right? Like in wings, but. Scorpion ish? I don't know, man. <sighs> what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Uh, you where, where is it about? It's right there. Go, go. It's got like a sack in its back filled with God knows what. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't do it. Don't you dare do it. You have one ballerina foot over there, by the way. Don't look, I'm so ugly. I mean, you know. What's, what's beauty, what's ugly in this, really? Oh, jeez. What am I... No. I don't even know what this is supposed to... What part of the body is this on you? I don't even... I see. So you want me to match up the colors, right? Gotcha. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I, I didn't... Um, was this blue? No. Okay. Um, perps? One more set, dude. Yes! Oh, he figured it out. Brush? Oh, it's a nail gun stapler thing of sorts. Oh. What in the hell? 
Oh, you evolved. You went from a very ugly ass Caterpie to, uh. uh I don't know, human form Butterfree? I have a new body. It's beautiful. Thank you. I know I don't deserve it. Well, at least you didn't open up your mouth like I thought you would, so that's good. Please accept this comb. It's not pretty, but it's handcrafted. And its curves make it the ultimate purr maker. No cat can re resist it, maybe. Okay, so that was the brush, and then I don't know where we came up with that stapler nail gun thing, but okay. Is it beautiful enough for you, or is it not? Not enough. Oh, dude, it's, it's, it's fine. Thank you. Some of them turn to stone and some into crystals. Um, why do we need this for? Oh, I mean, that. that oh, to say that first floor in this museum, I guess, was filled with cats, so. Mm, this cat is blocking the door. It's not moving out of the way. You want me to, um, brush you, my friend? That's what you do? You're a big boy, aren't you? What are we, uh... I guess just kind of keep it there until it fills up. Almost there. It's a little bit more. There it is. Alright, where are you going, buddy? Follow, or... Oh. What? Oh, good. Thank you. Appreciate it. But I always wanted a dead rat. All right, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. It'd be very useful for my adventures here, this dead rat. Looks like everything is done here. Let's get back to the lobby. That creature better not show back up, man. Especially because I would not know where to hide at this point. If it comes in the front side, oh, we're good. I will admit, though, the elevator music is actually kind of very soothing. You're back. You stink. You stink like a dead rat. I do. It's a gift from a cat. Cats are taking over this place. But they have no place to go. Those cats are angels when they're in a good mood. Looks like you're cut out for this job. Okay, then. You pass your probation period. Congratulations. The museum is shorthanded at the moment. It's leaking like a balloon with a hole in it. You look confused. How did you get here? I don't remember. Strange. Everyone came... Came here knowing where they were looking for. Some were here for a painting or an antique. Oh, and some to find bones. How did you forget such an important thing? I remember seeing a sign that said Super Egg. Super Egg? That sounds silly. Why don't you visit the poet in the sanctuary hall? He should know how to help you. Oh, so maybe you're not supposed to use these items here. But maybe for the next area. Super egg? I mean, I'm seeing an egg right there. Not easy to give it away too easily, though. Well, unfortunately, we are over time with this one, so I think it's a perfect spot for us to wrap up if we have a new area to go to here. So how about this? Like, we already got a couple things going on the channel. I'm almost just about done with change. <laughs> Um, almost just about done with Who is Zombie. We're seeing about Anno Mutationum. But if you guys would like to see more of this here, let me know in the comments and by leaving a little thumbs up in the video so I know what you guys want to see more of. And if there's enough interest for this, we can definitely come back. Otherwise, all the information for this will be down below in case you want to pick up here and continue for yourselves. So far, I don't know what's going on, man. I don't, but I absolutely love just the design for everything. This is like a creepy ass game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.